Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Teacup, which is a gorgeous narrative adventure game where we play as Teacup, who is the main character, she's on the screen right there enjoying a good book, she's a frog because, you know, of course she is, and the day before she is going to host a tea party, she realises that she has absolutely no tea whatsoever, which is a total disaster, so we need to help her go and find some tea, and if that is not the very best reason for playing a game, then I don't know what is. There is a tea emergency and we need to help, absolutely. Absolutely. I am right there. Don't you worry, Teacup. So without any further ado, let's go and find that tea and save the tea party. Meet Teacup, a frog who loves tea. Do you know what, Teacup? We'd get on just fine, I think. And there she is having a sing. She's going to go make some tea, opening the cupboard where I assume she keeps the tea. And what's going to be in the cupboard? There we go, a slightly alarmed face. And that is the reason why there is absolutely no tea in that cupboard whatsoever. Oh dear, Teacup, you took your eye off the ball with that one. Do you know what? We've all been there. It's okay. We're here to help Teacup. Oh, and she's gone a bit wibbly. <laughs> Teacup's gone a little bit wibbly. Okay, so right. So we need to go and help her find some tea. It is spring. And there we go. The calendar is telling us that tomorrow is the day of the big tea party. There's a big circle around it. Oh, dear me. And Teacup is going, oh, no, this is a problem. And thus began Teacup's journey for tea. Okay, right. We shall try and help you as best we can, Teacup. And there we are. Oh, and don't we just look adorable? Oh, look at this. This looks very wonderful indeed. Okay, so this is Teacup's house. Now, how do we go and do things? I'm not entirely sure how we go and sort of interact with the thing. What do we want to go and look at? Is there something in those cupboards? Can we look out the window? Oh, a thing there. We can look, I assume, at this, at the plant, is it? Okay, hang on. So I think we press that. There we go. So we press spacebar. A present from your grandmother. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Grandmother. That's very kind of you. Um, okay, there's a cup and a note on there. That's nothing for us right now. Is there anything on the table? There's a book on the table. Do we need to go and have a look at the book? Okay, yes, it looks like right. there's a hand there. So I assume that means we pick up the book, I am guessing. Come on then, teacup. This tea encyclopedia will be useful. Okay, I like the sound of that. Use this button to open and close the encyclopedia. While it's open, you can browse by pressing in the left or right direction. Okie doke. Oh, look, there's something under the book. Okay, what's under the book? Hi, Teacup. I'm glad to confirm that all of us will be able to make it to the tea party. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline practicing like crazy for our performance at the Kite Festival. We're pretty nervous, but I think it's going to be great. The boys were very excited too, but I hope none of them has forgotten it's this Saturday. It's been so long since the last time we all got together. Take care of yourself. See you soon, Adele. Oh, dear. Right, so everybody is very excited to attend the tea party, which I guess means we can't just reschedule it. We can't go, um, slight kind of problem with the lack of tea. Can we do it, you know, a week on Tuesday or whatever? Because, yeah, everybody's planned it in. They're all very excited. We can't let people down. Okay, okay, fine. Whoops, should have opened this letter earlier. Oh, dearie me, Teacup. There we go. Teacup does have on a very good hat. I like that hat. Hang on, Teacup. Can we walk you upwards a bit? That's a very good hat, Teacup. I like your hat. Top hatage. Is it a beret? Might be like a beret type hat, I suppose. Right, ah, we can go out the door. Is there anything on this sort of uh, shelf thing over here that we need to care about? No, I mean, there is a book in the corner that's just called Tea. I like the sound of that. Um, okay, so I think, I think we've done everything that we can in this room. I don't think there's anything we can interact with. Um, no, I think that's kind of it. So let's go out of our house and see if we can find any tea. In fact, no, first things first, let's look at the um, the tea encyclopedia thing. Here we go. Tea party essentials. Basics, uh, honey, ginger, lemon, verbena, whatever that is, lemon balm. Ah, right, okay, I'm never sure how to say this one. Uh, is it ruibos? Ruibos, maybe. Uh, chamomile, mint, rosehip, jasmine, hibiscus, and cookies. Okay, right, so, you know, biscuits, cookies. We'll, we'll accept you calling them cookies for now. Um, oh, my goodness me. It's proper, it's like a proper actual informative kind of encyclopedia type thing. It tells us all about basic tea and white tea and honey and ginger. Okay, okay, this is this is very intriguing. Um, okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go and have a wander about outside. Oh, and doesn't this just look gorgeous? That is very, very pretty. What a lovely style it's got. Um, okay, we can look at those things. Very colourful. Yes, they are. Thank you for your insight there. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on, what's that? It's weird to be outside, is it? Okay, I mean, it does say in the sort of on the Steam Store page that she is quite shy. So maybe she doesn't go outside that often. Okay, we've got any sort of post. 
No new letters. Okie doke. Let's have a wander over in this direction then. Okay, so we have to go out of here and go along here. I can see another person. Hello, other person. Oh, this is very good. Okay, hang on. Maybe we should talk to them first before going through their mail. Hello, who are you? You are Otto. I assume you're Otto the Owl. Why, hello, Teacup. Haven't seen you out here for quite a while. May I help you with something? I see a quest for tea, an adventure. When I was a young lad, I used to go on adventures too. Oh, the memories. Ah, yes, but were they ever for tea, Otto? Well, today is your lucky day, Teacup. What a coincidence. I was just about to throw away this map. Ah, no, we'll take a map off you. Um, okay. Right, so we have ourselves. Where's our house? I assume we're in, I don't know, bottom left, possibly. I don't really know where we are. But okay, so there's a market in the middle. There's a kind of kite thing up toward the north of it. There's a big kind of circus tent. There's a kind of collection of houses down the bottom. I don't know what the thing is to the left of centre. Big, tall lily pads or something. I don't know what that is. But okay, right. So um, it used to be complete, but some spots have faded with time. You'll have to fill the rest yourself. It was a gift back from when I arrived in this town by mistake. I'll tell you about it some other day. Well, I won't keep you any longer. It looks like you have a busy day ahead of you. Indeed, it's very important. It's a top secret mission. Can we go through your post? Private letters. <laughs> he didn't see that. It's fine. Okay, so what's up this tree? Can we climb up this tree? This leads to Otto's house. Ah, right. So we can't go to Otto's house. So let's have a wander across here. Oh, look, there's a like a spider in a web just sort of doing spidery things. That's very nice. Okay, right. So here we go. Yeah, so we're down in this bottom left corner. So that's where we are. So we're now going to West Forest. Yeah, okay. Let's head over to the West. Oh, hang on. Can, can we travel there then? Oh no, I see. Right, hang on. So we can travel to the market or the pond or our house. Okay, I mean, the market would be a sensible place to head, wouldn't it? Let's go over to the market. Oh my goodness me. There are many, many people. Oh, the bear. We have to go and talk to the bear. You look adorable, whoever you might be. Hello, bear. Uh, Petit Piro. I'm sorry, I don't know much about tea. Ah, you should learn more. Your life will be enriched. You can put sugar in it? Hmm, might try it sometime. Okay, and then you're looking at... What's this? These fruit look delicious. I mean, we do need... Do we need lemons? We might need lemons. Can we talk to him? That's fruit. It's sweet. I warn you, you might become addicted. Um, okay, right. Hang on. So what's that? Maybe these jams would taste good with toast and tea. Yes. Yes, they absolutely would. Buy some immediately. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's talk to um this kind of cockerel type person over here. Malcolm. <laughs> hello, Malcolm. I wasn't expecting you to be called Malcolm. Hello, little frog. Teacup. Well, hello, teacup. I don't have any of those teas you speak about, but I do have the best veggies in town. Wren, that good for nothing badger's veggies. I've nothing on mine. Oh, crikey. All right. Vegetable wars going on. Fresh potatoes. Let's talk to this rabbit. How exciting. The anniversary celebration will soon start. Ooh, the anniversary of what, I wonder. Okay, let's chat to this kind of horse over there. Terencio, I sell baskets. Baskets are good for containing stuff. I kind of feel like we should buy a basket. I find baskets to be quite comforting. Uh, hang on, there we go. Some nice baskets. Can we, can we buy a basket? And then we can, you know, put tea into it. That would be sensible. Well, hang on, we can look at that. Oh, it's just fresh potatoes again. Okay, so let's head over here then. So what have we got on that store there? They seem harmless enough. Uh, oh, they're mushrooms. They're mushrooms. Okay, so there's a rabbit there inspecting something. Hello, buy some mushrooms. I'm 100% positive they're not poisonous. Not the best opener in a business line, but okay. Or were those, let's say between 80 and 100. 95% sure they're not. Maybe 90. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pass. Thank you very much. Let's talk to you. There's a lot of people from neighbouring towns. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Here we go. Wren is hard at work. Ah, there's Wren. There's Wren the Badger. I should have bought some water. Teacup, is that you? It is. Unbelievable, darling. I thought I was singing a mirage. Come again. Tea. Tea, tea. Always about tea. Indeed, yeah. What else is there? I know, dear, but you need fruits and veggies too. What can I help you with? You ran out of tea. Impossible. Oh, that's one lovely book. You want me to look at it? Hmm. I don't know these herbs except this one. Mint. I can tell you where to find it, but first I need a little help. It's just so hot outside today, I can't even move, but I need to organise my stand. Would you do that for me? Okay, um, I'll get some water in the meantime. I'm just parched. Okay, okay, so teacup is that you? Oh, so there's a little kind of mission. Help Wren order her stall. Drag the pieces inside the stall and fit them all. 
Select pieces and rotate them. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, right. They're going to get a huge... Oh, <laughs> it's like a sort of a logic puzzle type thing. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay. Okay. It's like Tetris, but with like plants and onions and things. Um, okay. Hang on. So we can rotate. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. No, hang on. Hang on. Rotate that background like that. Hang on. No, that's not going to fit because then we've got something in the corner. I assume it fits exactly. I assume everything is going to fit exactly correctly. So, okay, right, you get out of the way. Let's put you just there. Okay, and then you could tuck into there. Hang on, move you back out the way. So can we rotate you? Um, if you fit in there like that. Nope, that's not going to do the job. That's not going to fit. And I don't think... Hang on a minute. If we put you back over there. What if we rotated you? Hang on, can we just take you off to rotate you? Um, what if we put you at the top? What if we put you like that and then had you going in like that? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Can we can we do that? Is that the... Ro oh, it's the... <laughs> can, we can we just adjust where these leaks go, please? <laughs> because that's kind of the right shape. We just need to sort of twist it round a bit. No. Botherations. Okay. I mean, that looked very promising. It looked good. Just you know, not really properly executed. Okay. What if we put that there? Nope. That's not going to cut it either. Okay, hang on. Put that there and then put that. No, but that needs to lock in with one of these things because the square is just going to be... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on a second. Uh, maybe that's in the wrong place. We've not even moved that at all. We're just kind of going, yeah, that's fine. There we go. What if we put that, say, there and then... Oh, a thing has appeared in the corner. It's going, what are you doing? <laughs> this is a simple puzzle. Why are you struggling? Do you know what? No, we're not going to use that. We're not going to use the help thing. I'm going to solve this momentarily. Please hold the line. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think this might be it. Yep, there we go. There we go. We've got it sorted. We've sorted the stall out. Don't you worry. There we go. Splendid. And you know what? Very nice too. It's a good arrangement of things. There you go, we've done it. Thank you, Teacup. My stand has never looked this good before. A pleasure to be of service. Yeah, now that you say so, the boxes are kind of oddly shaped. Yeah, they are. They are very oddly shaped. Just make them all square or rectangles or something. I saw Salamandro the other day with some of that herb you need. Go ask him. He should be by the pond. Okay, now we could go to the pond. That was on the map. Let's chat to some of the people whilst we're here. So, hello. I promised Malcolm I'd buy from him, but Ren's gossip is just better. I mean, that is very important. Okay, let's go round here. So what's that? Lots of variety. Hello. Oh, you look adorable as well. Can we just have a hug? Um, Grand Pira. Hello. Do you like pumpkins? They're the best fruit to ever exist. Goodness me. I've, I've never felt that strongly about pumpkins before, but okay. Um, what a cute stand. So a lovely kind of flower stand. There's a dog called Hortensia. I hope you find, uh, hope you can find your beverages just as I found my dear plants. Okay, so now can we go to the edge? No, oh, no, that's just looking at a tree. This path leads to the plaza, or maybe not. The map is faded. Okay, so we can't go that way, it seems. Okay, right, let's head back over this way then. Let's go and get our first thing. Let's go and get the mint from beside the pond. Okay, so here we go. We're at the pond, and that sign seems to imply that to the right there's a lighthouse, and to the left there's a thing, but I don't know what the thing is to the left. Let's go to the left and look at the mysterious thing. Is it something to do with lily pads or whatever? I don't know. Let's go that way. Um, okay, there's a bridge. Oh, there's a frog. There's a frog in the pond. Hello, frog friend. Hang on, what do you say about the bridge? Who designed this? It looks pretty wobbly. Okay, but hang on. There's somebody there. So, hello. Can we talk to you, frog friend? Be careful, honey. The water here is deep. Okay. Ah, you look like a person who knows what's going on. Hello, Salamandro. Hello there, little froggy. You lost. The old crony sent you. What are you looking for? Hmm... I do have some of that mint in my garden. I'll give you some. If you beat me in a race in the lake. Okay. <laughs> I must warn you, I'm the strongest, fastest swimmer around. Okay, right. Our chances seem minimal, but okay. Bear in mind, we are a frog. Uh, Salamandra challenged you to race in the lagoon. Press the series of directions below teacup to swim faster and take the lead. Oh no, it's a sort of pattern matching thing. Hang on a minute. So, okay. So up, up, down, left. Okay. Oh, I see. Right. We just got to do this. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Right, right, up, down. This is good. Left, left, up, left. This is fine. Right, right, left, left. Go to this quick, I imagine. Down, up, right, down. Come on, we're nearly with him. 
nearly with him. There's a rabbit in the water. <laughs> this is quite complicated. Hang on a minute. I've got to try and work it out in my brain. Uh, da, 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 that's quite easy. Uh, up, down, right, left. Uh, right, up, down, down. Come on, we're nearly there. Uh, down, left, right. Here we go. We can do this. We can beat We can beat this show off, Salamander. Uh, there you go. Sorted, left, up, down, right. We've taken the lead. We've taken the lead. It's crucial stuff. Oh, what a race. Are we nearly there? Yes. I think we did it. Take that, you big show off. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well done, little froggy. I have to admit, I was a bit tired because I was swimming all afternoon. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't want to hear your excuses. But a victory is a victory. Yes, it is indeed. You have quite some talent. Have you considered swimming professionally? You could... Oh, you'd rather stay at home. I see. I have a tea crisis. Come on, focus. Visit me sometime and I'll give you some mint. I live in the meadow to the north of this pond. Okay, right, hang on. So now let's go and talk to the cat. Honey, sometimes the only option is to be fabulous. You are fabulous. I am. Have you seen my hat? Be fabulous. Okay, right. So now I think, is that everything done here? I think that's everything done over here. So do we want to, I don't know, let's go and check out the lighthouse whilst we're here. Because that would make sense. So we've been to the left. That's the pond. We head over to the right to the lighthouse. The path ends here and this part of the map is faded out. Oh, okay. So we can't go there, but we can go to the meadow. So here we go. Let's go meet Chappie at his house and let's get that mint because at least that's something done then, isn't it? Um, hello, my goodness, you got back quick. Right, you are. Hello. Here you are. I couldn't let you beat me again, so I ran as fast as I could back home. Okay. <laughs> you are very fast. You can come whenever you want, uh, whenever you want to grab some mint. Uh, I don't use it much. You drink it? I had no idea you could use it for that. Hmm. I'll have to try it someday. Okay. So does that mean we now have mint? Hang on. So, okay. So the encyclopedia thing is filled in with a picture of mint. Wait, is that a map I see? And quite an old one. Mind if I take a peek? Cartography is one of my multiple talents, you know. Indeed, you're very, very multi-skilled. Let's see. Bah, it's so faded. There's barely of any use at all. Allow me to fill in some of the missing paths. Ah, that would be very helpful. There we go. Now you should have no problems exploring the rest of Little Pond. It was nice meeting you, little froggy. Okay. Cheerio. Is there anything over here that we need to be aware of? Does that just take us back to the map? Um, oh no. We can keep going. Ooh. There's a huge, very colourful, very exciting tent. Okay, hang on. Can we go in? Um, what a mysterious looking tent. It seems no one is home though. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, that tent is amazing. It's massive as well. Um, okay, right. Let's head back to the sort of the crossroads thing where the signpost was. And then we'll go back on the map and you know have a look at what else we can go and visit. Okay, so Salamander Chappie has uncovered the plaza for us on the map, and also the villa, and also East Forest. Okay, let's go over to let's go over to East Forest. Why not? Let's go and have a look at what's going on over here. Oh, there's some ants. Look, there's some ants going over that kind of log. Oh, hang on, are we stuck? Can we not get round? Oh no, there we are. There we are. We can get round. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's have a look at the tea encyclopedia. So is that? Hang on. Let's go to mint. Hang on. Is that now complete? Yeah, there we go. The mint is now complete. So it's a finished thing. So I guess when we actually find a particular ingredient, it then kind of fills in the page. Like we've got a lovely colourful picture of some mint there. Okay, right. There we go. So that's our task. Find all those various bits and bobs. Um, let's have a look. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go and talk to them. They seem like they might possibly be trouble. The path continues into the forest, but those scary looking fellows are in the way. Um, right. We can't get past them, I don't think. No, we can't do anything here in East Forest quite yet. We need somebody to go and sort of scare those slightly sinister looking chappies away. Okay, right. Back to the map we go. Let's go to... Let's go to the villa. Let's head down to the villa. Why not? Um, oh, a tree has fallen down. So these two are, what, cutting it so we can get on the path? Hello, how are you? Sorry, this road is closed for the time being. Uh, for now, there is no way through this trunk. We're working as fast as we can to restore access to the other houses. Please come back later. Okay, so we can't go that way. What is along here? It's some very lovely houses. Okay, let's not go through everybody's sort of uh, everybody's post. I mean, can we go knock on the doors? Uh, we can go in. We, uh, we don't knock. We just go straight in. Oh, oh my goodness. It's very fancy. This one is pretty famous too. What was the author called? Oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, look, some sunflowers, my goodness. The mysterious art of daydreaming. Learn the secrets of the subconscious and your past lives. Okay, so there are many, oh, there's many wonderful things we can look at. Tools of communication and elemental discourse and hermeneutics of narrated life. I don't know what any of that means. These books should analyse everything in detail. Let's talk to you. Hello there. Olympia, good morning. Oh, you're Otto's neighbour. It's a pleasure. A friend of my teacher is a friend of mine. Tea, that's wonderful. I prefer Moroccan coffee. I'm, I have to leave. Goodbye, I need to go now. But my trips, some tribes have offered me tea. That's because it's better. There's one in particular I've been looking for, but it's very hard to find. Your special quality was that it transported you to a world of dreams. <laughs> that type of tea. Sorry, sometimes I start to ramble. What do you need? Now I think about it, I've never seen you around here before. It's nice to see you're outside. Oh, I see. I have some, that one that I can't say, Ruibos. It's only enough for one cup, though. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Rickard gave it to me when I decided to sponsor him. His family lives by the port, and they're always sending him some. You can find him by the pond in the lighthouse. Be nice to him, he's kind, kind of aloof. Okay, so now does that mean, does that mean we can go back to the map? Hang on, hang on. Do we want to go any further this way? Are there any other houses? Oh, I need to start writing these things down. <gasps> That's a little kind of hobbit style house oh this is wonderful okay let's just uh let's just break and enter into this one then <laughs> hello oh you're a mole hello mole lady georgina oh welcome ready for your piano lesson no 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 ah you're not rose my apologies ho ho i wonder when she will arrive okay so rose needs to turn up for her piano lesson and someday you'll learn how to play the piano but not today okay what's in that box is there tea in that box? Okay, I don't know. Hang on, hang on. There's tea over here. There's a tea set. Can we can we borrow some tea, please? You clearly have some. Okay, never mind. I mean, the only clue we have is that we need to go to the... Oh, no, where was it? We need to do... Where did she send us? I can't remember. The port or something. The port near the lighthouse. That was it. Let's go all the way back over there and see if we can get our way over to the lighthouse now. And yes, we now can. We can now go over to the lighthouse. Okay, so there's... A sort of a lizardy creature in a life sort of ring there. I'm looking for sandcastle builders. Do you have a CV? Uh, no. And then we have the mayor just there. The mayor does look a little bit kind of sinister. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's talk to you first. Who are you? Um, I see your race with Salamandro. I've been here all day. Sunbathing is the best sport. You know, because of the vitamin. Yes, absolutely. I know all about that. Right. Hello, Mr. Mayor, just there. Felicio, if you're here about the trees with sweaters, we're investigating it. What? No, I'm not here about that. Oh, that does sound intriguing. Um, okay, so it's not you we had to talk to. Ah, was it this person over here in the water? Hang on a minute, we have to shout at you from the shore. Hello, over there. Here's where I found the gold coin the other day. Huh? Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Wait, how long have you been there? You didn't hear anything from me. Hang on, what? Gold coin, did you say? Can we get in that boat? Can we get in the boat and go and maybe grab a gold coin? And what a nice boat. Who does it belong to? I don't know. Who does it belong to? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Right, can we go over any further this way? Um, ah, yeah, we can go up there, can we? Can we go into the lighthouse? Oh, oh, this is very exciting. Okay, hang on a minute. So nothing to look at around here. We can go up the stairs in the lighthouse. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, so we're at the top of the lighthouse, and there is the lighthouse captain or whatever. Rickard! Oh, um, you're not here to make fun of me, are you? Olympia sent you. What am I doing? Well, building a lighthouse. My name is Rickard Oren. I'm the main architect and engineer here at the lighthouse. A pleasure. People say it's dumb for a pond to have a lighthouse, but it's my project. And the only opinions that matter here are the architects and the engineers. Ah, and you are both of those. Well, also my patrons, Olympia. It's a crazy dream, but it's my dream. I work on it every day. I won't stop for just a couple of ignoramuses, excuse my language, who don't have dreams of their own. Sadly, I haven't been able to finish it because I can't place these gears correctly for the life of me. Well, I imagine I might be able to help you. Really, you can help me. This works. I'll put your name on the commemorative plaque. That's very nice, but can you give me some tea? That'll be marvellous as well. Okay, tweaks and turns. Rickard requires your help to fix the lighthouse. Drag and place the gears on the right rod. Gears, the same teeth, must be in contact, but they cannot overlap. Okay, so let's see. The idea is to plug all of these gears in the rods. Gears and kind of teeth have to be in contact so they can turn each other, thus they can't overlap each other. 
Gears with different teeth can overlap slightly, but you can't cover the centre of the gear as they wouldn't be able to turn. It's pretty confusing, but I'll be here to show you whenever you're placing a gear incorrectly, which is probably going to happen quite a lot of the time. Okay, I mean that one, uh, I imagine that one has to go, it's going to overlap all the other ones. I imagine that one has to go there onto that particular spoke, because otherwise it's too big for all the others. Okay, so now where can this one fit? Um, hang on, can I not pick you up? There we go. So that, could that go there? That seems to work quite well. And then, hang on, so then grab, grab that one. That one can't go there. It could go there though, look. They seem to lock together quite nicely. Um, however, what about down here? So, oh, that's, that's quite a big one. That can't go there, can't go there, can't go. Oh no, that's going behind that one. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Right, okay, so if we put that there, that's quite big. So if that one goes behind that one, hang on a second, hang on. Um, no, that's not going to work. So away with you. Uh, oh, and look, the things appeared saying, hey, do you need some help? <laughs> you seem to be rubbish at this, it's saying. Okay, that seems to lock in quite nicely. And then that one there, possibly. And then these ones at the bottom. So that one there, and then that one there, and the tiny one in the middle. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me that's right. Is that right? It seems to be correct. Yes, of course, yes, they're on different levels. We've done it. There you go. Can we have some tea now? Wow, it's working. Thank you so much. Consider yourself invited to the opening ceremony. There's still much to do before the lighthouse is up and running, but you took a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, you need some tea? Yes, of course I have some. Ta-da! It's Ruibars, so how you pronounce it? Okay, so now imagine, does that get filled in with a little picture or whatever? Ah, the lighthouse. Okay, wonderful stuff. You can come get some whenever you want. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you very much. That is very good indeed. Okay, so now we've got some, at least we've got some tea. We've got some of that tea and we've got some mint. Okay, okay, so we've got you know, some basics are in. We've got some basics in. Um, okay, right, let's go and see where we need to go next. Okay, so let's leave the pond behind and I don't think we've been to the plaza yet, have we? We didn't get to the plaza, so let's head over there and hope there's loads of tea over here. Oh, there's like a fortune teller person. Hello, fortune teller person. Adora. Hello there, teacup. Yes, this is the first time we meet, but the cosmos told me you would come out today. Would you like to have your fortune read? It might help you on your journey for tea. Yes, please. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yes, then let me begin. Okay, right, here we go. Another kind of puzzle type thing. The tower that has been at Peeful. Maybe some broken pride. Even though you may not be fully aware, this has only made you stronger. Okay, I don't know what you're on about. You've come back from your ashes fiercer than ever and are perfectly capable of facing what's coming next. Okie doke, so the tower. Then we have the sun. Joy, success, celebration, positivity. This sounds amazing. These things are all around you, but you must be willing to see them. You're at the dawn of a new story, or maybe not so new. Change has already happened, but it is up to you to face this situation. Okie doke, slightly confusing messages going on. Have you got some tea? And the final card, the king. Your draw evokes a lot of questions, but also shows something essential. Things will evolve positively in your life. This new energy should enable you to make new resolutions and, on an emotional level, to reconnect with your loved ones. And when they are supposed to be coming round, many good things await you. You've heard the cards. You just have to continue ahead on your journey. T. Oh, sure. My sixth sense tells me it's underground. What? It's pink. I see a lot of pink. There's nothing more I can tell you, but this, inf this information shall surely be enough. Pink tea that's under the ground? <laughs> well, I don't know if that's going to be overly helpful. Okay. There's kind of a fox there with some sunglasses on. Hello. I have the latest news. Wait. No, I can't tell you. You have to buy the newspaper and read it. Why? Well, that's just how it works. But if news isn't your thing, I also have the latest edition of Weekly Cloud Guide. It's a favourite among professional and hobby cloud watchers alike, you know. Ah, so the problem is that you don't have cash on you. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any cash. I'm just going to go. Bye-bye now. Let's talk to you. T. Ridiculous. I worry about real life problems like blah, 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 blah. I got lamps and vegetables or something. Sounds boring. Right. You. Hello. Adora told me it was a lucky day for me, but I just tripped. I'm probably getting luckier now. Okay. 
And there's a person over here. Hello. Oh, there's a bakery. There's a bakery. What do you want? Well, I was just trying to be nice, but if you're going to be like that. Hello, baker. Ta. Hey, what do you want? Cookies, huh? The only problem is that I'm about to go for lunch. You're friends with Lyndon. Am I? Yes, I am. Best buddies. Oh, me and Lyndon go way back. He mentioned something about a picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. Cookies are a speciality, so you better go and ask him. He did have some errands to run, though, so he might still be doing that. Okay, so we have to go and find Lyndon. Okay, but he was supposed to be at the pond, but now we don't know where he might be. I can buy some sweets later. Good call. Very good. Okay, you. My balloon cart once flew away. How I got it back, you ask? I didn't. Oh dear. It's <laughs> still flying around somewhere. Okay, you look like you're having a read of something. Uh, Ciro, you're kindly invited to the theatre play we will be presenting this afternoon at this very spot. Okay, maybe that's kind of end game. Maybe we can get all the tea together. We go and have a look at the have a look at the play. Teacup, you're out. Are you okay? Oh, that's good. What brings you to the plaza? I bet it's because of the festival. Yeah, it's a town anniversary. You didn't know. Oof, with those preparations, I almost forgot about the tea party. That explains why you're out and about. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. So this is what you're looking for. Sorry, tea. I don't know where you get any of the tea herbs you need. Maybe Vincent could help you. He likes to drink tea once in a while. If you walk a bit further, you should find him working at the postal office. And if you're going to the post, if you don't mind, could you please mail my monthly manga order for me? <laughs> awesome, thanks, tea. See you around town. Take care. Um, The post office. Okay, so let's say keep walking further. Let's do that first before I forget. Uh, although this is a very... Hang on, did we just go past the post office? There's the mayor again. Hello, mayor. I'm making sure everything turns out just perfect. My reputation depends on it. And my reputation is perfect. Hang on, let's go and try and find the post office. Let's at least find the post office and I don't know, see what's going on in there. Although I think we went past it earlier. Hang on, let's go all the way back over here. There we go, there's the post office. Right, so let's pop into here and just see what's going on. Right, okay, there's a post box there. What a mess, hundreds of letters. Well, indeed, it is a post office. Oh, crikey, there's stuff over here. Name, Otto Owl. Address, West Forest. Treehouse. Yeah, we kind of passed by him. More letters still. You seem surprised. Oh, it's like a huge kind of bird. <laughs> a postal bird. Hello, postal bird. Vincent, welcome to the post office. How may I help you? I see. Mr. Bertolt's monthly manga order. I'll add it to my to-do list. Yes, the office is a mess. Don't judge me. The mayor absolutely insisted on making this limited edition stamp collection. I spent the whole week working on it and I would barely finish on time. He wanted some memorabilia to immortalise this year's edition of the town's anniversary. Ah, you notice a honey aroma in the air. It's my tea. Can't, you say, can't tell where you got it. It's a secret. You know what? Let me show you the stamps. Let's see if we can organise them and form the image. If you can do that, I'll tell you where to get honey. Okay. Vincent will tell you his secret if you solve his stamp puzzles. Select two stamps to swap their positions. Place the stamps in the correct position to complete the picture. Okay. Hang on. You need to reorganise them to form the picture. It's pretty hard. Oh, good. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we just re... Hang on, what do we do? Just click and rearrange. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can cope with that. Right, so I mean, imagine... Um, hang on a minute, hang on. That needs to connect to uh, there. And that needs to swap with that. So that's the top bit done. That needs to swap with that, I imagine. Um, what's going... So that would go there, I guess. That would go there to complete the top of the tram thing. That goes there. I think that's it. It was easy. Hmm. How about I try forming the picture by only swapping adjacent stamps? Oh, you. That's all. Oh. <laughs> right. Hang on a minute. Let's go to the top then. That's got to be to the top because that's the sky, I think. Um, okay. This has presumably got to be... Hang on. Let's move that like that. Bring that down like that. And does that match like that? I think that might match like that, although I don't know... Hang on. Is that supposed to come down like that? No, that just looks silly. Um, oh, I know what that is. Hang on a second. Hang on. If we bring that over, bring that over, bring that down and bring that down. That looks about right. That looks about right. But now all this is all wonkaloids and that's not in the right place. Right, hang on. Swap that. Put that there. Uh, no, put that there. Oh, no, right, hang on a minute. <laughs> that needs to come over here, I think. There we go. So that's the top of that. And that needs to come over. That needs to come over. 
that needs to come down. And there we go, it's a wonderful thing. Wow, if you've managed this last one, I'll tell you the secret behind how I got this honey. Oh, it's it's a huge big thing. Oh, it's got the mare on it. <laughs> okay, uh, right, at least we can get the corners in because the corners are fairly obvious. So there's one corner. Let's get the other corner in. Um, and that's got to be uh, a bit at the top. That's gonna go there and that's gonna go there, I imagine. So that's the top sorted. That's got to be the left bit. That's got a bit down the right. So that's the right. Okay, so hang on. Let's move the mare's face into position then. So there we go. And then it's just a case of rejigging the bits. There we go. That was nice and straightforward. The, the outside bit helped quite a bit. Wow, you made it, huh? Yes, I did, Vincent. I'm glad you had such faith in me. As a prize, I'll tell you my secret. You know Otto is keeping bees. They always provide him with honey. He's a kind soul, so I don't think he would mind giving you a bit. Okay, Otto was the person we passed right at the start. Okay, okay, fine. So let's head over to uh, to Otto. Let's just get that done now, shall we? Let's head over to Otto. And also, who else was it? Do we have like a quest log or anything? <laughs> I can't remember who else it was that we were supposed to go and see. Um, hang on, do you know what? We can go to Otto first. He was in West Forest, wasn't he? Let's go and find Otto. Okay, Otto isn't here right now. However, he might be in his house. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, we can go into Otto's house. Hello, Otto. You've got a net. Catching giant dragonflies sounds dangerous. It possibly is. Right, hello, Otto. How are you? You're thinking. Hey, Teacup, nice to see you again. How's the adventure going? You went to the post office. What a journey. You must have met Vincent. He's a nice fellow. A bit talkative for my taste, but nice all the same. Honey, why, of course. I just gathered some this morning. Here you are. I'm sure a tea party will be a huge success. And there we go. We've now got some honey. That's just going to light up. And we're going to get a picture. And there we go. Look, it came from our owl friend who says STB. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> right. There we go. So now we have some honey. So what do we have? Can we go back to the... Does it tick off the things at the start? No. Okay, so we've got honey and we've got rubos and we've got mint. Okay, ah, cookies. That's what we're going to do, wasn't it? We're going to go and find somebody about the cookies. Although I can't remember who we're supposed to be finding. Um, hang on a minute. Let's go and wander about. It was by the pond, wasn't it? It was by the pond. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's go to the pond. Ah, there we go. You weren't there before. Hello. Are you the person I'm looking for? Lyndon. There we go. I apparently know you. Hello, Lyndon. Long time no see. Hi, Teacup. How are you? Are you ready for t tomorrow? I'm really excited. Wow. You need some cookies? N not a problem. I can give you some leftovers from this morning for tomorrow, but only if you join us on our break. We're going to have a picnic on the lake with Bertol. I bought some snacks. Oh, here he comes. Let's go. Okay. Oh, so we're out having a little sort of sail around. Oh, this is nice. Am I supposed to do something? Ah, no. Thanks for your help, rowing tea. The water is so calm here, you can sometimes see creatures under the water. Like the mysterious beast of Little Pond. <gasps> don't say that. You know I don't like horror stories. Teacup, tell him to stop. It's fine. Tea likes horror stories too. With its sticky body, it attacks poor little porcupines. Rawr! Don't scare him. He's going to fall in. Ah! Jeez, Bertol. Maybe you could draw it, T. We can flesh out the story, like we used to do at school. Oh, this is nice. They're all like old friends. You remember our paper puppet shows? Those were epic. T used to make the best voices, although everyone thought we'd hired a professional. I still have an album with our paper cuttings. Good old times. Ah, oh, reminiscing. It's starting to get hot here lately. We used to sail in coats and wool hats. Hmm? If we're here often... Yeah, T, sometimes Evangeline and Adele come too, but they had uh, they had band practice today. I feel like I can relax here. Lyndon also stutters a lot less. You're as welcome too, T, you know. I know, I, I don't like going out. You should come around more often. Sometimes we read our mangas out loud and act them out, but our voice acting is nowhere as good as yours. Why, well, thank you. It's awesome that you came out right on the town's anniversary. Little Pond is a nice place. People are a bit crazy, but hey, so are we. Yeah, you lot are completely crazy. You're out there. Um, Yeah, it's great that you're here. It's a big step. There'll always be a spot here for a frog like you. Oh, this is lovely. Anyways, Linda gave me a plant the other day. He called it mellifluo. Ah, mellifluous flowers. We know that from playing farm manager there. Fancy flowers. I don't know what you expect, Lyndon. I'm too busy to keep a plant alive. I think he's the one who wanted it. After all, he's the one actually caring for it. Why mellifluo? Good question, T. Lyndon, what's with the name? Um, I, I just thought it sounded nice. 
Well, I'm hungry. Can you pass me the snacks, Bertol? Of course I can. Let me take them out. <gasps> ah, a bee! Oh no, did you just drop the snacks? Oh, Bertol. Oh dear. You've got the longest arms between us three, Teacup. Would you mind pulling the picnic out of the water? <laughs> Bertol dropped the picnic basket into the lagoon. Move your hand over an object and hold the interaction button to pick it up. Drag all the objects upwards to put them away in the boat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a simple fetch task. Here we go, grab. Oh, it's slightly out of reach. Grab the carrot. Uh, come on, apple, float this way. Can't quite reach. Fingertips on the apple almost. Can't quite grab. There we go. And grab the apple. Splendid. That's it. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hello. Hello, water. Um, There we go. Don't worry. That's going to be a bit grim, isn't it? Sorry I dropped our snacks. Don't worry about it, Bertol. I think we can dry off most of these things. I think it's time to get back. Mr. Felicio must be looking for me. Ta must be opening the bakery too. Yeah, you're right. We're going to run on ahead, Teacup, but you know where to find us. Come by the bakery later and I'll give you some cookies. Okay, right. So, I mean, later is, you know, any point now. So let's head over there right now and get some cookies. At least we've got some of the stuff we need to go and have our tea party. So here we are in the bakery. Hello there. Hello, friend. How are you? Here you are. I already wrapped up the cookies. These go great with tea. Take them. Looking forward to tomorrow. And there we go. We now have ourselves some lovely, lovely cookies or biscuits. When well, I'm going to call them biscuits. There you go. We have some delicious biscuits to have with our tea. This is very good. So what have we got? Hang on. So we've got, uh, we've got ourselves out of the 12 things. We've got... The honey, the boss, the mint, and the cookies. So we've got four of the things already. We've got you know, a third of the things we need. Um, some of the stuff proving to be slightly more elusive. Um, okay, right, let's see if we can find any more clues. Let's see if we can have a chat. I mean, maybe you might help. So you found Lyndon. What were the cookies for? Oh, a tea party. I'm more of a coffee person myself. I have to go. Goodbye. But tea does go pretty well with cookies. Yes, it does. Hence why they're superior. But okay, keep drinking your coffee. Let's have a chat with this turtle. Hello, old timer turtle. How are you? Should I go fly a kite? I'm not sure I'm ready for such an adrenaline rush. Oh, okay. Not so good talking to you. Okay, as a chicken. Can't talk right now. I'm busy thinking. Okay. I mean, let's go over here and have a chat with you. Uh, hello there. Nostalgia Blue. That flavour has me recalling things I've never even lived. What? <laughs> I assume that's a sweet in the shop, is it? All these names are weird. What do they taste like? Uh, okay, do you know what? Let's go in. Went kite flying. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ah, now, there was a kite flying thing on the map, wasn't there? I wonder if we can uh, go and visit them. Wow, lots of activity here today. Right, can we get out over here? Yes, we can. That's very handy. Um, oh, it takes us back over here. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. I need to go back to where I can get to the map again. Ah, uh, yes, that was where I was going to go. So East Forest, so the north of there, there is a little kind of kite flying thing. But is that the place where there was a big kind of log in the way, like a fallen tree? I think it might have been. Or was that the villa? Oh, I don't know. Let's go to East Forest. Oh, no, that was where the big, the, the group of dodgy looking people was, wasn't it? Are they still there? I imagine they're still going to be there because nobody's come to sort of scare them away quite. Yeah, they're still there. We're not going to go that way quite yet then. Okay, never mind. Okay, here's a place we haven't been. So there's kind of like a fabric shop, which is off the plaza. So, okay, what's that? Fancy designs. Okay, let's talk to this person over here. They are wearing a fez. And as we all know, fez is a cool, hello, cool fez wearing person. Pankrati, I think that might be pronounced. I'm sorry, I can't help you right now. I'm having some trouble. Don't you see it? The carpets have come alive. I knew there had to be some kind of trick. These last ones were really cheap. Looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but right now isn't the best time. I know the magicians. I need your help, frog. I'll give you jasmine, but first you need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these rugs down. You can find them in a tent in the meadows. I go myself, but the carpets would escape. I'm counting on you. Oh, okay. The big kind of circus tent thing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's head over there right now. Okay, so here we are at the tent. We've called out and we're hearing a voice beckoning us to enter. Okay, let's go in. And wow, this place is spectacular. There's a great big pile of stuff on the right there. That's a very impressive Jenga tower of stuff. Okay, so hello, magicians. Hello, frog magician. Um, called Vitiano. Oh, look, look over a frog. Correct, Batano. Like you. Salutations, little amphibian. Hello. Interested in the mysteries of existence, the other world, that which is beyond the reach of D? 
Dients. I don't know what Dients is, but okay. Oh, Sight is saying, ah, he got a, has he got a bugged up nose? Uh, Dients, that's science for Tiano. Yeah, yeah, she understood. She said yes. Uh, welcome, men. We have a mission for you. Oh, crikey. What mission? Oh, right, the mission. A magnificent mission. You must find the cauldron of life. I just want some tea. It looks like a teapot, <gasps> but it's not. Okay, I like the sound of that. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our fent. <laughs> tent, you mean? Yeah, there you go. Tent. Slander. Lakova. I remember the shopkeeper was clearly saying fent. Yeah, I don't think so. That was his accent. Nobody in that garage sale spoke that language. Uh, right. Are you cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? Well, I'll give it a go. Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron, here's a list of some other stuff I need and can't find. Vitiano. Well, she already said yes. Go, we'll be waiting here. Okay, so another mission. So uh, Vitiano and Lakovu ask for your help to find all the objects they can't find in their mess of a tent. Find all the hidden items displayed on the scroll and select them with the cursor. Oh, crikey's okay. <laughs> I mean, can we move stuff out of the way? Are we allowed to pick stuff up and move it out of the way? It doesn't look like we are. I assume when we click something, it vanishes out of the way. Maybe we click something and it'll reveal things behind it, possibly. I mean, there's there's an umbrella. We got that. That's fine. Um, there's a... Uh, hang on. I thought I just saw that boat thing. Where was that? Uh, a candle-type thing? Uh, whereabouts is that? There are many, many random things all over the place here. Um... There's a tiny, tiny key just there as well. That's going to be quite hard to spot. That's going to be very tricky to find. I mean, what's that there? Is that anything? I don't know what that is. Oh, hang on. Is that that? Is that that bulb of garlic or whatever it is? No, it clearly isn't that because I clicked it and it didn't go away. <laughs> okay, all of these things are very, very well concealed. Um, okay, right. I mean, let's have a hunt around and see if I can find any of these things at all. Oh, hang on. There's the eight ball. There's... Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's the eight ball. It's just there. There we go. At least that one's sorted. So we've got a you know, couple less items to find now. Okay, so I found everything except this key. I cannot see where that key is anywhere. Okay, hang on. There's something just there. Is that the key? Oh, okay. I didn't click on that at all. It was right there. I clicked on this over here, but it seemed to think that was the key. Okay, <laughs> there we go. There we go. At the Cauldron of Life, this wonderful kind of gold... It is a teapot, isn't it? This wonderful gold teapot. That was over there. That was quite easy to find. I mean, that was quite hard to find, the key. Although I did intentionally click on that there, but yeah, it's fine. We got the key in the end, that's all good. Um, yeah, some of those things were quite tricky to spot. I mean, the candle thing was over there. It did not look like a candle on a little sort of candle holder at all over there, I didn't think. But there we go. Right, so we found the stuff. So a strange smell emanates from the teapot. Ugh. Have you cleaned that? You feel dizzy. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> right. Okay. What is this place? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared as to what they've done to us. At nightfall, dreams will come. Soft as cotton. Blurred like smoke. Can we just go home now, please? <laughs> this is very odd. What have you given me? Um, okay. Do you know what? No, let's, uh, let's keep going over here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We can look at that. From here, worldly problems seem very small. Okay. Yeah, it was a weird kind of floating island thing. Oh, it was a massive kind of clock without any hands. Okay, it is time to sleep. <laughs> this is so weird. What is happening? There's a um, a kind of train car thing. Little pond should have a tram. Okay, yeah, well, there's, there's one there. You could have that one. There's a weird kind of tree. Oh, here they are at the end. Hello, hello, chaps. What is happening? Look, look over. The frog is here. Unbelievable. Looks like you found the cauldron, little froggy. It looks like you didn't wash the tea stains again, Vitiano. What kind of tea are you making in here? <laughs> this is very suspicious. How many times have I told you? Slander, Lakovu, falsehood. Couldn't be further from the truth, you sleazy lizard. But, well, welcome to the dream world. So for the trouble, you must be confused. Yeah, you could say that, yes. It wasn't that much trouble. We know about your search, little traveller. Please accept our most sincere apologies. Yes, very sincere. This magic powder might be of use for those pesky flying carpets. Yes, and take this magic tea. It's what we make in the cauldron. <laughs> do we want that? Vigiano, you do know that if you give her that, she won't enter the dream world as she pleases. Leave me alone, Lakova. I like this froggy. Take it. 
Oh, you have a book? Let me show you my amazing drawing skills. Okay, so he's going to draw in a page for magic tea? <laughs> well, there we go. It's a good drawing. It's very nice. Good fancy teapot. Very good. Okay, right. See you on the other side. Oh, it's all a bit weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, there we go. That was a thing. And we're back. Thank you for your help. Uh, your magnificent contributions have brought balance to the universe. Ah, I can hear it resonate beautifully. Vitiano, how many times have we talked about lying about the universe? <laughs> lying, and maybe many things, little frog. A frog, a wizard, a sorcerer, a frog, but not a liar. Trust me when I say that your future resonates brightly. Uh, well, it seems like a nice town. We should set up our summer tent here. I think you already have, haven't you? Uh, Grandiosius, I'll connect this tent to the others. See you around. Good luck stopping those flying rugs. Wow. Okay, well, there we go. That was certainly an experience. Okay, let's just, let's go back and sort those flying rugs out. <laughs> I feel like we just need to, we really do need a cup of tea now. My goodness. Okay, right back to the place where the rugs are. Okay, so we're back with Pankrati. The magic carpets are still wiggling around all over the place. But yes, we've given him the magic powder. So he's saying a magic powder, I see. Now we just need to spread it on all the carpets. Okay, you go and do that. Please help me with that. And the jasmine is yours. Oh, crikey. Okay, crazy carpets all around. Stop the carpets inside the store. Aim the curse of the carpets and throw magic powder until they fall. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, so we just have to keep... Uh, hello, any more? One there and one there. Okay, so right, we recharge. We recharge with the magic powder. Okay, hang on. So that side. So boom. So how many do we have to do? Like, how many carpets are there? So target that side. There we go. Right, so now we're back on full supply. We'll get you. Do we get you again? Ah, there we go. You have to get them twice then, it seems. So boom, you go down. And boom, you go down. Okay, this is all fine. Right, you go down. And take that carpet out as well. Oh, this is fine. This is all good. Right, you can go. And aim up in that corner. You can go as well. Recharge the magic dust. And possibly the last one. Is that the last one? I think it is. There we go. <laughs> There we go. We've stopped all the carpets being weird. Beautiful. Now I can continue working in peace. Thank you very much. I think I forgot to ask for your name. Teacup, it was lovely to meet you. Here's your jasmine. Come whenever you want if you need some more. And there we go. We get another ingredient for our tea. Some lovely jasmine. Is it going to have a picture of carpets? No, it's got a picture of the amazing fez wearing person. Since you're running around town, can I ask you a small favour? If you run into the Raccoon Brothers, can you tell them their new shipment of wool just came in? Okay, they look intimidating, but they're the sweetest guys I know. Last thing I heard, they were in the forest. Thanks. Oh, that's those guys. <laughs> so they look all kind of tough and macho and a little bit scary, but actually they just love a spot of knitting. Okay, wonderful stuff. I like that. Okay, and then do we have do we have the jasmine? Have we got that now? Let's kind of have a quick check. So what do we have? We haven't got the basic teas or the white tea. So we've got honey. That's one thing. We've got ruibos. That's two. We've got mint, that's three. We've got jasmine, that's four. We've got cookies, that's five. And we've got dream tea as well. Is dream tea now in the in the front? Has he added it to the kind of the index at the front? No, no, he has not. Okay, do you know what? That's pretty good going. So we've got five of the things that are on the tea party essentials, plus some like magic tea as well, which, you know, is a good thing. Go magic tea. And with that done, I think we will wrap things up for now with Teacup. We've had a very good look at the game and we know what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And it's a very nice, calm, relaxing, easy to play game. I mean, the mechanics of it are pretty simple. You go to a place, you talk to a person, you go somewhere else, you have another chat, you do a little mini game, you get something useful, you you return to the first person and hand over the useful thing and then you get something back that you can use at your tea party. It's nice and straightforward. It's not overly challenging. I mean, some of the puzzles are a little more challenging than others. Like, you know, the get the stuff out of the water puzzle was quite easy, whereas the fit all the vegetable stall kind of shapes in was a little bit trickier. But, you know, they were OK. They were both absolutely fine. I mean, the vegetable stall thing took maybe, what, two or three minutes or so. So, you know, sort of tricky, but not really impossible. It is a little bit time consuming. I will say that. There's quite a lot of back and forth involved and Teacup isn't the quickest on her feet, but that's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's also relaxing that it doesn't really matter how long things take. The music is very nice. I mean, you can't hear the music so much because, of course, I'm talking all over it. It's quite light and calm and airy. The visuals are wonderful. They look very charming. The characters are all splendid. And even the ones that we thought looked a bit dodgy. 
the gang ones in the forest, they love a spot of knitting. It's just overall a very wholesome, nice game. And yes, we don't have all the ingredients, but we've got most of them. So I think Teacup can handle things from here. Yeah, we've given her a good head start. She can now go on and get the rest of them on her own. And the tea party will be an amazing success, I'm sure. So good luck, Teacup. You've got this. You're going to be fine, Teacup. I believe in you. But yes, I think this is the perfect time to finish things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Right, if we connect to there and open the door, we're going to get vaporized by this laser. And there's an electronic thing, which looks like a sad kind of Game Boy. <laughs> I'm a tiny little sort of sort of stick person in a, in a computer. I can't steer the train as such. And look, we are outside and we're in a gutter. Oh, happy days. Hello, Leaf.